Hello, happy here. This is the third video of the tutorial series about how to make a simple racing game in Unity. We have the car for the player and we need another car for the opponent. The opponent is AI. The opponent is computer. So we play with our car and we must go far faster than the opponent's car. Open this vehicle folder. That is cheap. Let me just duplicate duplicate this chip that I have here. Let me press Ctrl D to duplicate it and put it outside this car hierarchy. So this is I will name it opponent G. <coughs> to differentiate it, let's apply this texture to this chip. Now this is our car and it is the opponent. <coughs> if we play it open is still not moving because it has no engine in it <coughs> so what we are going to do let me clear this error first ah, this error is just because the car audio I don't need this call idea so why is it freezing I'm going to just go to the car and delete this component okay delete it. let's play it it should be free of error now okay we need to add AI, AI car as an opponent so we have imported the standard asset folder go to the vehicles car and here is what we need we have car waypoint here Let's drag it to this position. <coughs> this is our opponent. Let's say it is the engine of the opponent's car. And the body and the object of the component car is this one. So I need to drag this object into the car waypoint base here. And set the position to 0, 0, and 0. Then, what is the car? An opponent chip. Where is it? It is hidden inside the circuit. Okay. Same thing as before, I need to hide current car object so this sky car we need to hide them. You can select all of them and uncheck the mesh renderer. Yes. Now, the next thing, we need to add a waypoint. What the waypoint is, the waypoint is just a point on the scene. For example, I need to add a point here, and here, and here, here, all the way. So, 
the AI car or opponent car will go through that point. The way to do that, let me create a uh, empty object here. I will rename it a uh, waypoint. Let me reset the position to the center. Then in, click this waypoint empty object and create another new empty object. Here I will name it some point, just point. Position this point. For example, here. Press F to zoom in. Make sure that this point is not inside the circuit. This position is good. Duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Put it here. And the next point, do the same thing as Ctrl D to duplicate and move it here with a little bit of work. Ctrl D and move it here. Move it upward it control D can move it here move it upward do it all the way here move it Where is it? Okay. Continue to duplicate and move it. Maybe one more time is enough. Here is the last point. Now let's let's select this waypoints object. Go to the standard standard asset folder. To the utility, drag and drop this waypoint circuit to the waypoints object. Click this button, assigns, assign using all chart objects, and click this auto rename numerical from this order. You can see lines here, but something is not right. This line is not right. Let's fix it. Let's delete this one. And then one, zero, one, two, three.
Oke. Okay. It's about to be right. Let's refine it. I move it here. And this one is good. This. I think it is good to go except this one let me bring it up a bit okay we can test it now if we click the play button this opponent car should move by itself following this path following this waypoint but I almost forget. We must add. Let me, let's rename it uh, opponent into opponent. Scroll down this inspector window. You will see. I'm going to remove this audio script. I don't need it. Here, circuit. Currently is empty, so we need to drag and drop these waypoints into this circuit. Let's run the game. As you can see, that car is moving. Let's see the movement. Yes, it is running so fast, but it's too fast, so it falls. Let's see it again. It is moving super fast, so it is falling. Maybe we can reduce the speed of that opponent car. You can play around with these settings. Too much things here. And let's just, uh, for example, let me change it to 1000. And let's see how. What is the difference? Let's check its movement. Is it going well or not? It's good. Yes, it's good, and it is colliding with our car. Okay, it's good. Now let's play it. Let's drive our own car and beat it. Of course, we can beat it because our speed is oh my god, we are falling all together. Let's try it again. Let's go slowly. Our objective is to see how is. This opponent car is moving. As you can see, that car is not touching the ground. It is not touching the asphalt. You can fix it later. Oh, yes. It is moving so fast.
can we take over? Let's see. Oh, yes. Oops. Be careful. This is a crazy circuit with crazy cars. Where is the opponent? Oh my god. <laughs> the open is still here and I'm falling down. That is my car. Okay, it is good. So far it is good. Let's go back. Let's go this way. Oh. I'm stuck okay guys uh, next time on my next video I will do something uh, another thing to complete this tutorial okay so I will tell you what I'm going to do next time uh, that's all for now thank you for watching this video tutorial and see you soon